What's going on YouTube? It's your boy AA Nine Skills and welcome to this pack opening. But I'm really doing a pack opening because there's some topics I want to talk about. I want to talk about I'm gonna fail on his name, so I'm just gonna apologize right now because I know I say his name wrong. But I want to talk about the way Ozil played for Arsenal, and I want to talk about uh, uh, Bale's first day for Real Madrid. I thought that would be a fun topic for today's uh, uh, video. So while I open up some packs, we'll talk about that. Before we jump into the action, let me quickly say if you want cheap allowable coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT Coin Traders. And with that being said, well, uh, Ozil's first game with Arsenal, in my opinion, was a great success. I mean. His first couple uh, uh, touches, he got an assist, a beautiful pass into the middle uh, uh, where the Arsenal uh, striker was there to just put it home. So personally, th this is just my opinion on the whole thing. I think uh, Ozil is a great player. I've always thought since he was at Real Madrid, he's one of the best passers uh, in football right now. I, I, in my opinion, I think he's one of the best uh, passers at the attacking mid position. He brings such a great pass to the game. He reminds me of players like uh, uh, there's so many like the way Kaká was when he played for AC Milan the way his vision was to pass the ball Deco Deco was a great great passer um, when he played for Porto and I, I believe even in his early days at Barcelona he was a great passer and Ozil just has that great passing passing ability and you could see the Arsenal players feeding off of that because they kept trying to give the ball to Ozil uh, for him to put that 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 uh, finishing pass in, and he just does stuff like that, man. He's able to put passes in that defenders just can't defend against, and teams struggle to defend against the type of passes he puts in. So his first day uh, with Arsenal, I thought was a success. I mean, think about it. You, you got this massive price tag on your head. You're going to a new team. You're going to a new country where you've never played in. For his first day at a new country and a team he's never played for to get an assist and to play the way he plays. Played. I thought it was a great success and I thought he played great football and I think he's going to be a great addition not to just Arsenal but a great addition to the BPL it's making the BPL you know Spain uh, has the Messi, Ronaldo, Bale now, Neymar. But when you look at the BPL, they got their own big names. They got Rooney, they got uh, RVP, they got Ozil. So the, 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 I guess they would say the best players in the world play in, in Spain. But if you look across the league, the BPL probably has the most best players like if you on average there's so many good players in the bpl and ozil is one to to add to that list so very happy on the way ozil played for Ar uh, arsenal i think arsenal fans were more happy than anybody else and it was funny because that that was probably the most hyped player i have seen for arsenal in a long time i mean on twitter the arsenal fans were going crazy everybody was just going crazy about ozil and i haven't seen that much hype around arsenal in a long time so that was a really really cool thing and uh, it, it's it, like i said i talked about it in the beginning of the transfer window will arsenal waste money on a big player they wasted money on a big player and i think ozil showed up and played well there was a lot of pressure on him and he played very very well so it was cool to see that then uh, i watched bale i watched bale play for real madrid his first game he left the bpl went to a new league uh went to a new team and with a humongous price tag on his head so there must have been a lot of pressure on the kid's shoulders and uh he scored which is which is pretty big uh he scored in his his debut he put a put a booyah into the back of the net uh but personally i, I think it's i thought real madrid didn't play good football and i know they were going up against the yellow submarines they were going up against Villa Real, a hard team to play they were away from for away from home and it was a tough place to play but it's gonna be tough for them to fit uh, uh um it's gonna be tough for them to fit bail ronaldo and and isco in in one team i i think it'll work obviously they can both switch the ring with the wings but I, i'll say this and i say this many many times every time i talk about real madrid they wasted a lot of money on bail a lot of money they in my opinion real madrid need a striker you can put as many wingers as you want they need a striker i know benzema's a pretty good striker but you're talking about Real Madrid. You're talking about one of the... This team has so much money. They have the best players in the world. Why not go out and get one of the best? Why not go out and get a Falcón, a Cavani, a Ibra? Do you consider Benzema up there with the, the best of the number nines? I don't. And, and a lot of people might get salty with me and be like, skills, you're crazy. Look, it's just my opinion. Don't get mad at me. But if you're going to... If you have money to spend, why don't you go spend money on a massive name to play striker for your team? Because you don't really have good strikers. So... Bale and Ronaldo are going to have all the pressure on them of scoring many, many goals because uh, I personally don't think Benzema 
is that guy. So, uh, you know, I, I think they will become... I, Ozil's first game was impressive. Bale's first game was, the whole team wasn't impressive in my opinion, but I think Real Madrid will get it together. I think they have a good coach. I think he'll be able to coach uh, big names like that. It's tough when you have such big names on the field at the same time. It's tough to get them to play well. It's tough to, who do you give the ball to in clutch situations? Is Ronaldo still the man or is Bale the man? I mean, I know Ronaldo's like made a contract where he's the most paid athlete now, but, or not athlete, most paid footballer, but I read something like that. I don't know if that's true, but do you give it to him or do you give it to your big signing Bale? It's, it's a lot of craziness and we'll see if a manager like Ancelotti will be able to keep them down to earth and make them play good football. That's their job now. But I think Ozil is definitely going to get, uh, uh, he played better than Bale in his first game. In my opinion, just my opinion. Again, I could be hundred percent wrong. I think Bale will do well at Real Madrid. Don't get a twist. I think Real Madrid is going to be strong. Um, and I think they're going to be big Champions League contenders along with Barcelona. Uh, so it's going to be very, very interesting. I mean, think about it. Real Madrid's four games into the season, three wins, one draw. They're doing well. And Bale will get his get his feet together. And he's going to be beasting and feast. I mean, he got a goal, yeah. But I, 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 he couldn't miss that goal, let's be honest. That goal was like, yeah, it was a gift. So um, but Ronaldo's goal was luck, too, in that game. So they both got crazy lucky goals. But uh, yeah, so um, that's my opinion on them, too. Ozil did great. Uh, Bale scored the goal so he did good but i think real madrid as a team has a lot to get together and learn how to put those guys into the right system once it happens they're going to be a scary team to play against let me know in the comments down below what you think about ozil and bale um I know there was a lot of other players I could have talked about, but I really wanted to talk about them as they were probably the biggest names in this transfer window, the ones with the most hype. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Make sure to subscribe and also make sure to leave a comment because I want to know what you guys think about the two biggest uh, hyped up transfer moves. I think they were the two hype. So uh, with that, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time, baby. That's a booyah. Yeah.